President Trump signed a new trade agreement this week between the U.S., Mexico and Canada. It, of course, replaces the North American Free Trade Agreement, which has been in place since 1994. Among the changes, a new deal promising to reduce trade restrictions on the U.S. and to better open markets for farmers. Our Misty England looked into how this new deal will affect Idaho's agriculture. Misty, you're here to explain what it is. Well, today I spoke with experts from three of Idaho's top four agricultural sectors. That would be po potatoes, dairy and wheat. And all three agreed that this is a plus for Idaho farmers. I think this uh, new negotiated deal is a, is a great thing for the state of Idaho. When it comes to exports, Mexico and Canada are the top two recipients of Idaho ag products. According to research from the University of Idaho, approximately 20% of Idaho's ag exports are dairy, 14% are wheat, and 37% are other crops, which includes potatoes. The new trade deal is projected to have a $68 million economic boost in the U.S., and Idaho is expected to see positive ripple effects as well. And so Mexico is actually shipping frozen products coming all the way from Canada down into Mexico and bypassing the U.S. for much of their, their products. So by eliminating the tariffs, it gave us an even playing field, and uh, it's really a, a positive uh, day for Idaho potato farmers. Currently, fresh Idaho potatoes are only allowed to be shipped within the first 26 kilometers of Mexico. So the Potato Commission is hopeful this new deal is a step toward changing that restriction as well. When it comes to Idaho wheat, Canada downgrades the crop to a lower classification, which brings in a lower price. The new agreement does away with that, as well as wheat tariffs imposed by Mexico. As far as wheat alone, we, we estimate it's going to be a billion dollars a year of increased revenue to the U.S. producers for Idaho wheat. Oh, dairy in Idaho uh, leads Idaho in, in total uh, gross income. Right now, dairy accounts for one-third of the state's total farming income. This new agreement opens up more access for dairy farmers into Canada. It also eliminates a Canadian milk system, which undercuts the sale of some U.S. milk products in the country. So Idaho dairy experts say they're pleased with the deal. I just say there's a great excitement throughout this, the state and the nation with this agreement. It's been a long time coming. Now under these new terms, Canada will also end its policy of not allowing imported wines to be sold in stores. And that is also expected to have a positive impact on U.S. wineries, which could have an indirect effect on Idaho's wineries as well. Mark? We always applaud when Idaho farmers get a break. Yep. All right, Misty, thanks.